Okay, let's talk reflection symmetry. A line of symmetry is a line you can draw through a figure that represents a, a place you could sort of fold the figure on itself and have it be the same on both sides. If you take a look at the smiley face here, if I were to draw that vertical line that's kind of marked in there in red, right down through the center of that face and then fold it over top of itself, this left-hand side would fit right over top of the right-hand side and you wouldn't be able to tell that it wasn't just half a figure. They, they line up exactly. So this is a line of symmetry because the figure is the same on the right-hand side and on the left-hand side of that line. Now for the rectangle down here, the second figure, there's actually two lines of symmetry. There's only the one place in the little smiley face where you could draw a line and have it be the same on both sides. If I tried to do that horizontally, it wouldn't work because the smiley face isn't the same, obviously, as the eyes. The rectangle, however, has two lines of symmetry because I could either draw it down top to bottom and have it be the same on left and right, or I could draw it left to right and have it be the same top to bottom. The pentagon has five lines of symmetry. As long as I split any one of the angles in half, and meet the opposite side at 90 degrees, then the figure is going to be the same on both sides of that line. So we have a line of symmetry there, and then we could sort of rotate this one around over to the next little spot, and that's what we have right here. And then we rotate it again and again and again until we've drawn a line bisecting each of those five angles. So that pentagon has five lines of symmetry, and any one of those lines represents a, a place where the figure is exactly the same on both sides. Now, reflection symmetry specifically says that the line represents what happens if you were to look at both sides of the line you've drawn as reflections of each other. The figure should be the same on both sides as if it were a reflection in a mirror. If you think of holding your figure up against a mirror, up against a wall, and having it have an exact sort of second image of that, that picture, of that figure, whatever it is, that's what that line of symmetry should represent. There are other kinds of symmetry, and we'll be getting to them shortly. But for this, uh, for the purposes of this lesson, we're specifically talking about that, that line that, that splits your figure in half and makes it exactly the same on both sides. Mirror images, if you will.